Recently, I've been making some uh, indie folk sort of stuff. Stuff with like a very roomy feel. It sounds like a live session. I've been watching a lot of McGee and Dijon as well, specifically this video right here. So I wanted to kind of make a tutorial on how I would go about getting a tone that would fit in that session. I'm not going to go over getting McGee tone because I kind of went over that in the last video. There's a trick I learned from another YouTube video, which was more rock oriented with rock tones, but it works really well with a room tone like this. Let's get into it. All right, here I am down here in the corner. This entire technique is centered around this plugin right here. It's called Sound City Studio. It's by UAD and it's kind of expensive, but I pay the subscription, so technically it's only like 20 bucks a month. It allows you to remix stuff. What does this mean? Well, well, here we have this room, and my guitar signal is going to come out of these speakers in this room. It sounds like it's in that room. So, what I do is I open up Amplitude and I'll just bypass this, and then I can throw on all these pedals. And you can do this with any. An uh, amp sim that allows you to have pedals in it, uh, and I guess allows you to bypass, which most let you do. So let's say I want to, I don't know, I'll throw a chorus on there, so then I'll throw a delay. Now, this actually does have a room in it. I'm going to take the room out. So on top of the pedals and everything going into this room, you also have a ton of microphones and microphone options and microphone distances. You can move these if you want a closer sounding. Ah, what are these? I think this is room two, right? Yeah. There's also a ton of different options. This is the PA 2x12 Live. Okay, so now let's pretend we're in a little Dijon session. Let's mimic the room sound. It sounds a little more roomy. I'm also going to turn that chorus off because I don't need it. And we can also engage the chamber. And in the chamber, there's a ton more shit. So if you want to get even get rid of the close mic, you can. See what I mean? Sounds really good. Uh, we're gonna hop into the chamber. We can even add some more reverb here. Uh, right here. So that's how you get a good room tone. I mean, you can use a room reverb. I guess this is tech. I mean, this is a room reverb as well, but this is a, I use this convolution, impulse responses, shit like that. Um, it sounds like it's in a room. It sounds like it's coming out of that cab, uh, some sort of Vox looking cab in a room. And I've yet to find a good room reverb that sounds like this. So yeah, now I'm gonna do a little demo of a sort of indie folkish sort of thing. I'm really inspired by Saturn as of lately, so I'm gonna do something like that. And I'm gonna use the, stu the Sound City Studios plugin, and you'll see how nice and roomy it sounds. Okay, here we go. So all I have right here is three guitar layers and a drum layer. Drums are MIDI. They're just a drum VST. This is how good it sounds. sounds pretty real. I'm happy with it. So this is what I did. The first guitar is the same thing I just showed you before. Um, just going to the sound city. The next guitar, these are going to be panned left and right, but they're not going to be panned left and right on the layer right here. They're actually just going to be panned in sound city. The close mic is panned left and the same thing on this one, but it's panned right. And that makes those two sound like this together, right? So this way, the room reverb is the same sounding room reverb, but the close mics are different. It makes them sound very cohesive together. Now, I am thinking maybe with a lot of, of uh, instances of this plugin, the room reverbs would like stack on top of each other, or these room mics would stack on top of each other. I don't know. That's something you got to figure out with a bunch more instances. But for now, I mean, it sounds like it's very cohesive in the room. And I haven't even EQ, dynamics, nothing. This is just Sound City. And lastly, for the drums, I'm just using Superior Drummer, specifically using the Custom Shop kit. It's just this thing right here. Um, I swapped the snare for this snare. I don't know. I, and, I mean, mic-wise, 
it looks like I turned the overheads up a little bit and I turned the ambient stereo down. Really not that much. It's going into the same thing, Studio City, but in this mode, it's actually going into reverb and then I just mixed it dry and wet. Otherwise, it sounds very 80s, which I'm not a fan of. So that sounds like this. And there's some extra reverb as well. Something I'd even do is pan the entire kit slightly. Then it'll sound like a Tiny Desk concert. That's a little much. And I think it sounds really good. Mess around with the room mics, the settings, the polar patterns. Polar patterns? Why does that sound weird to me? Polar patterns. I feel like that's right. Maybe I just said it so much that it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, there you go. If you want to make your stuff sound like it's recorded in a room and very authentic sounding, you should get this plugin. I think it's like 250 or something. Just stand, like, just buy outright 250. Um, I think it's worth it. But yeah, all right. Bye.